Wrap for what? Our car wrap. For what car? Oh. Nor all of the tons of car parts per usual. We got a new car. You did. And it matches yes. your shirt. Yes. Look at it. <laughs> got another Z, you guys. Welcome back to another video. We got the shades on and you know what that means. It's another Z video, but not this Z. It's the new Nissan Z. As you guys know, we just got the new Nissan Z and today I'm gonna to be sharing five things that I like about the car with you guys. Um, but Christina just picked this up like yesterday and it low key, it matches the Frontier too. I drove a couple, for a couple hours, met up with someone, got the car in Ohio. Yeah, everyone's like, everyone was DMing me on Instagram. They're like, did you really buy that car from Ohio? Did you really go to Ohio and you came back and made it out alive? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, I did, bro. But it's pretty clean, so it's 95K original miles. It's a 2003, it's a DE, so pretty impressive with 95K. Um, nothing really wrong with it. There's a minor exhaust leak. We're probably gonna change that. But yeah. it is an automatic. Yeah, oh yeah, I totally forgot to bring that up. So it is an automatic, and I did buy that for a reason. I keep saying that on my Instagram and my TikTok that I bought it for a reason, and you guys will find out soon why. Yes. Honestly, this duo is like so fire right now. I'm in love with it. Like. I kind of want to just keep the red on red. So what are we about to do right now? I don't know. I think we need to go, uh, I'm not sure. I have to register the 350C. It's colder than I thought. It is nice and warm today in no. Detroit. It's 38 degrees. That's why I'm in long sleeves. Um, oh it's nice God. and sunny outside today here in Michigan. So the weather's starting to warm up. 38. Ooh, it's still pretty windy though. But before we do that, I want to share with you guys, we have this right here. What is this? This is a loaner car. Nissan gave us a loaner car because the Z is currently in the shop. Um, we're having transmission, not so much transmission, but shifter issues going into fifth and sixth gear and it's just annoying. I can deal with it. Uh, I'll explain it though um, when we pick up the car. Hopefully it's fixed. In the meantime, they gave us this. You can see all the way down there, you guys. There is the loaner car. And what I love about this loaner car is this right here. It's not working, but the car has remote start and it's all wheel drive and it has a heated steering wheel. We got the Rogue Sport, it has remote start and the poor Mustang is sitting over there all alone. It's been sitting there for quite a while actually. <sighs> Don't you just love that new interior smell? The perfect daily driver here in Michigan has remote start so you can get the car warmed up before you leave the house. Heated steering wheel, me personally, my hands get really cold. I think a heated steering wheel is more important than heated seats, but some people disagree with that. And then last off, you need all wheel drive. This thing is pretty badass. I kind of like it. I kind of want one, not gonna lie. Anyways, let's go pick up the Z. We have arrived into the service section. I'm returning the car. She's dropping hers off for recall purposes. There's our baby. We love you. We are checking out the Aria right now. Very, very nice. Serious question. Comment below if we should get one because we're, really like we're considering it actually. <laughs> yeah, definitely let us know if we should do an Aria build because we really like these Arias. Like imagine if like the fender flare was wrapped too. The fender flare, yeah, and the lower trim. Dude, we can make this thing look pretty sweet. Not even gonna lie. Realize, low key, you're matching, well, not just this frontier, but especially our frontier. <laughs> Where's the other Z that they're talking about? There's a 370 Nismo. That's pretty sweet. Oh, um, right there. oh shoot. There it is right there. Another Z. That's dope. Moment of truth. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so before you guys, this would go like all the way over here. Uh, and just that shifter plate wasn't lined up properly. I was gonna work on it myself, but I was like, this car is under warranty. I might as well just bring it up to the dealership, especially since we were already up here uh, for the frontier. Wow. And the guy working on is a pro. Yeah. And now we just dropped off the frontier to get a recall fixed. So now we're down a Z again, and but it's okay. we're about to go register another Z, so. <laughs> Yes, now we're gonna go register the 350Z. I know. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of Nissans. Dude, look at that, that know. thing's sick. Right, did you get your... We made it home, you guys. As you can see, the Z is super dirty. She is nice and filthy with all the salt that has been on the road. So before we take a deep dive into the things that I love and hate, we are gonna go get her washed. I'm wearing my white shoes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a touchless car wash instead of the self-serve, uh, don't hate. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. God, I don't want to rip off the bottom of this car, but... Woo! Listen to this exhaust, y'all. You guys did not watch. God, these sensors are going to drive me crazy right now. 
Ever since I wrapped the car, the sensors have been going crazy and I have not figured out how to turn the sensors off. So if anybody knows how to turn the sensors off in a 2023 Nissan Z, please let me know below. Anyways, back to what I was saying. If you guys watched, the reason this car sounds like that, trust me, it doesn't sound like that from factory. Nowhere near that. In fact, it doesn't sound like anything from factory. Because of that, I took off the muffler and now the muffler's in the back of my car. Look who is home and has their top down, yes. She's got the top down. It's like not even 60 degrees, it's like 40. It's like 38 to be exact. <laughs> Here is the eclipse, you guys, but today, of course, it's about the Z. That being said, I'm gonna go over a few things that I like about the Z. Bye. It's kind of bright out, don't mind the glasses. But I came to this kind of quiet spot here, far away from the road, uh, so I can just kind of show you guys some things around the vehicle. Starting at number five, I really, really like the design cues uh, of the exterior on this vehicle. You have a lot of inspiration, uh, not just from the 300Z, but from the 240Z and a lot of the Datsuns, as well as the 350Z uh, and the 370Z. So obviously this front end is kind of inspired uh, by a few different vehicles. This bumper is definitely a 240, 280Z, bumper as well as the headlights they're definitely a modern take on that vehicle as well when you look up on the hood this is definitely like an hr 350z hood it's super beautiful and i love the way they incorporated that into the front bumper uh, as you kind of work your way around to the side profile you're starting to see more 370z especially the way this window comes up uh, right there and then obviously on the back you can tell the taillights are certainly from a 300z they're definitely a modern take on that 300zx moving on to number four my fourth favorite thing is definitely uh that little what would you call it like pillar right there i think this pillar gives the vehicle so much taste this small little thing really allows uh a lot of customability of this vehicle me personally i'm about to get new wheels to match this silver stripe now some people are going to black it out some people are going to make it the same color as the car so i really like how they incorporated that number three i really like the engine and the platform that they use they reused the 370z platform and i like that because there really wasn't much wrong with that platform in terms of the chassis and transmission stuff like that obviously the automatic in this vehicle is going to be out of a mercedes but that leads me to my next point number two is i love the automatic transmission the manual transmission is great and it's super it's, it's really good especially for just daily driving if you want to just take this car out on a cruise me personally i think when it comes to tracking the car and being more aggressive the automatic is the way to go um, as a daily driver or just a weekend car i think the manual is fun uh, super smooth um, but i really love uh, the automatic so that's definitely my number two i've driven both I love the way the automatic drives. The nine speed transmission in this car is really good. Number one, I really like the engine. I don't know, it's out of a Q60 Red Sport, uh, the VR30 DD TT, I believe. It's a twin turbo V6, and I really like the fact that they're just kind of upping their game with that engine. Um, it has a lot of potential to tune, as you guys know, if you tune that engine. And also, a little bonus one. Uh, number six i am in love with uh, the layout here this is super customizable so what i mean by that right now i have the tire pressure sensors kind of all around and the tachometer and the speedometer there and you can change the per, i think the meter view there we go so that's like sport mode it shows you your g-force gauge here on the left uh your oil temp water temp engine oil pressure and your acceleration percentage as you can see and then you can change this gauge on the left to uh, whatever you want it to be, which is also pretty cool. You also have, let's see, you have one more, which is normal, um, and that is kind of two gauges, one tachometer and one speedometer off to each side. So I really love the customability custom of that dash. It really makes it more personable and makes you kind of, makes it, it caters it to your likings. And I like that a lot. Um, and so then we're gonna do a bonus bonus here, uh, number seven. I love the way they incorporated other vehicles into the interior, not just the exterior. Here is straight out of a 350Z, uh, the door handle and vent combination, as well as these gauges. They've kept this all the way through the 350Z up into the current car. Same thing with the seats. These are the cloth seats that come on the base model, and these are very, very similar to the 350Zs as well. Now, I'm sure there's even more interior design cues based on other uh, Zs that have come out in the past, but I don't really know much about those interiors, so I'm probably overlooking a few things, but I, this car is a very, very tasteful car. I feel like Nissan built this car not to make sales, but for true enthusiasts. You can tell they came right out with a manual, they came right out with a great design, and I just feel like they built this car not for sales, but like I said, um, for enthusiasts and for people who love the Z 
brand. Uh, on that note, you guys, I have a lot of content coming with this car. I'm gonna modify it a lot more. I already took the muffler out, as you saw. Um, but please stay tuned, like and subscribe. Um, that would mean a lot. We have a lot of content coming your way. So we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.